Nigeria First, a civil society group, has revealed that some shadowy international groups have planned to launch a smear campaign to assassinate the character of the immediate past chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tuku Buratai. The group made this revelation at a press conference on Thursday in Abuja, wherein it dismissed the alleged killings of Igbos by the Nigerian army under Buratai's watch. According to its Secretary General, Richard Augustine Adi, these groups have been mobilized to cast aspersion on the character of the immediate past army chief by calling his stewardship into question. We wish to inform the general, the generality of Nigerians, that indeed the plot is real and enemies resources have been a mark to discredit the personality of the immediate past chief of army staff and call to question his stewardship of the Nigeria army while he held sway. The assumption that some Igbos were executed on the instructions of the immediate past chief of army staff remains a figment of the imagination as the institutional framework introduced by the Lieutenant General Tuku Buratai in the Nigerian army does not give room for religious or ethnic sentiments. This is indeed culmination of attempts by some enemies of Nigeria hiding under the auspices of an international coalition who would go to any length to destroy the Nigerian army as an institution of repute. Augustine Adi noted that the despicable element will go any length to destroy the Nigerian army by publishing baseless, fictitious and unsubstantiated reports using ethnicity and religion to break its rank. Nigeria First as an organization is indeed aware that this despicable element will go any length to destroy the Nigeria army by publishing baseless, fictitious, and unsubstantiated reports using ethnicity and religion to break the ranks of the Nigerian army in an attempt to destroy the Nigerian army as an institution. One of such instances is the recent die trap alleging the immediate past chief of army staff indeed ordered for the killing of Igbos by troops of the Nigerian army. The outright falsehood indeed must not be allowed to stand because of the consequences it might have on the overall psyche of the Nigerian populace. Nigeria first therefore condemned this act of sabotage in the strongest terms, warning those fanning the drums of religious and ethnic war in the country to desist from such for peace and tranquility. Nigeria first condemns this act of sabotage in the strongest term and wishes to sound a note of warning to those faming the drums of religion and ethnic war in the country to disease from such ignorable endeavors in the interest of peace and tranquility and the continued existence of Nigeria as a country. The attempt to denigrate those who have devoted their energy and time to the service of this nation is therefore view viewed as every unacceptable and will not be tolerated by well-meaning Nigerians. This is on the heels that the record of Lieutenant General Tuku Buratai as the Chief of Army Staff are indeed replete with the act of devotion, dedication, and patriotism to the Nigerian cause. Nigeria first, however, urged all well-meaning Nigerians to rise to the occasion by speaking in one voice in this critical point of national existence. From Abuja, Lawrence Aldu, TVN News.